Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Detective here, the Sons of Batman. I'm doing one of the first official videos for our uh, Sons of Batman YouTube page. This is going to be a non-Batman orientated video. Right now, I'm going to show off um, my anime collection. Now, this isn't everything that I own um, when it's coming to anime. I have a lot of manga. I'll be doing a separate video for each category, I suppose. Um, you know, I got a lot of, I got, I have a lot of manga. I got a lot of collectibles and memorabilia and everything. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into my DVD and Blu-ray portion of my anime. Let me fix my shirt real quick. As always, I'm in my closet. Everything in here is full of nothing but collectibles, you know. It just looks like a whole bunch of regular boxes, but they have everything that I own uh, when it comes to manga, comics, collectibles, statues, toys, figures, artwork. So anyway, right now, I'm going go go, to go ahead and show off my Full Metal Alchemist um, Collector's Edition. This thing uh, sent me back, you know, $300. Came in this nice little box. You know, it has property of Edward. It says Full Metal Alchemist Complete Series on Blu-ray Collector's Edition. This thing cost me $100. Uh, can I grab those? Can I grab those? I got everything piled up next to me, but it's not the only thing I own for Full Metal Alchemist. Got the OVA collection. I have Conqueror of Shambhala. I have the uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Collectors 1, Complete Collection 1, that has episode 1 to 33 on it. Uh, where is that at? Like I said, I have everything piled next to me, so you might hear some crashing and rumbling around and everything like that. I also have old school, old, old, old Conqueror of Shambhala. Um, full Japanese version that was released a little bit after the movie. And I have this full Japanese with subtitles, episodes 25 through 51 of the first Full Metal Alchemist. And I, I've yet to see any of the episodes after this in English. So how far back we go with Full Metal Alchemist. I also have a Full Metal Alchemist tattoo. I got it when I was 18. So here we go. Pop this open, show it off. Now this, like I said, this is not everything that I owe, own by way of uh, like my collection. Um, you know, I, I just got a whole bunch of more stuff that, go, that can go along with this. I should have um, should have just put it in this box, all my Full Metal Alchemist stuff. This is the tattoo I have doesn't look as amazing as this, so don't really want to show it off right now, but yeah, I have this tattoo, the Blood Seal, for Alphonse. Oh, that's what it says at the bottom right here. The illustrated artwork is shown, also pretty much titled, so you know what it is. Human Transmutation Circle. And they're also numbered, so do two first, because that's my favorite one. And then there's one, here's three. The lore, or Lior, Lior, trying to lore. I like to collect, uh, keep these along with it. You know, it shows you all the information. Sometimes I gotta look on the back of it to really see. There's a little note. Looks like an actual letter sent from uh, a mistress. So, you know, that's pretty cool. And I believe it's just all the uh, the cover art for the the Blu-rays of the DVDs. Oh, you know. I purchased this for three hundred dollars. I do not know how much this thing goes for now. It will suck if it's a uh, cheaper, which usually is the case. And I don't have a tendency of waiting 
which I should. So, you know, there's some artwork that comes in with this little letter with more artwork. Here's a full, full um, hardcover book with more artwork, more, um, there you go, alchemist seals, sheet, some, something right there, you know, detailed, uh, sketches, artwork, illustrations, Uh, I might do a live on the Sons of Batman. I'm going to try to keep this relatively short. I know I just, you know, it's already five minutes into the video and I'm only getting past this. I have a lot more to get into. So hopefully doing a live will allow you guys to uh, ask me any questions that I can answer. I have not opened this yet. And I will not open it whatsoever. I'm going to keep this thing nice and tucked away for, I don't know, the apocalypse. Let's see. I'm going to pause it real quick. Be right back. Got that put away, so now I'm going to show off the Rock the Dragon box set. I've shown this off previously on, on live in the Sons of Batman. Uh, anybody who watches Dragon Ball Z knows that uh, the Ocean Dub was the first American translated version of Dragon Ball Z. I'm surprised Funimation actually released an Ocean Dub version. All the original format. You know, comes in these nice, beautifully displayed uh, um, DVD holders. Has all the three original movies, all in the Ocean Dub voice cast. I cannot watch the three original movies, uh, Dead Zone, Tree of Might, and World's Strongest. And I can't watch the Saiyan Saga or... The uh, beginning of the Frieza saga in the ocean or the Funimation dub. I can only watch them in in Ocean dub. Here we got the Steelbook uh, collector's editions of the movies. There's Android 13, Super Android 13, Bojack Unbound, Cooler's Revenge, Cooler's Return. Uh, we got Fusion Reborn, uh, Wrath of the Dragon. The other one that I have, my which is also my favorite. History of Trunks, by far, forever will be my number one favorite Dragon Ball Z film. And Bardock, father of Goku. Here's another one. I got this for Tree of Might. I did not... Oh, no, no. Sorry. I got this for Lord Slug, not Tree of Might. Because I cannot watch Tree of Might in Ocean Dub. Here's the special collector's edition to um, Resurrection of F. Not opened. Here is Resurrection of F. There is Battle of the Gods. Here is my first DVD of History of Trunks. And my first DVD of Lord Slug. I gave my best friend... He, I thought he was going to be gone. He was leaving. And I thought he was not coming back. So I gave him my entire Dragon Ball Z collection. But I kept these two. <sighs> Dragon Ball... I have not finished Dragon Ball. Uh, where's the other ones? I got through the majority of all of them, but did not open this yet. I did not finish them yet. I will get around to that someday. Um, I am almost done with my Blu-ray collectors or collectors edition Blu-ray collection of Dragon Ball Z. Here is. Season 2, Season 4, Season 8, they're, they're out of order, Season 9, uh, here's Season 7, and Season 6. Which one do I need? 
I need one more, but I, I'm just not shelling any money out for it right now. So, which one was it? Uh, I won't get season one. So season one, four, oh, three. I need season three. I'm not shelling out any money for season one because, like I said, I can't watch the Funimation version of it. Here's House Moving Castle. I have that digitally, so I did not open the Blu-ray version. Here's My Neighbor Totoro. Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh, never mind. There's season three right there. Huh. That's my bad. Let's put these in order real quick. Which one do I need? Did I buy them all? Did I finally complete it? Because I have some statues and everything in a Dragon Ball. So, season two. Season three. Season four. Uh, season five. That's what I need. There's season four. There's season six. There's season seven. Season eight. And season nine. So I have all those. All right, here's the High School of the Dead Collector's Edition. One of my all time ultra favorite uh, zombie anime. Damn, there's a lot to get into. I'm just gonna try to pound this out real quick. Get all this shit out of the way. Woo, almost dropped that shit. There it goes. It's hard to do this with one hand. Like I said, I'll try to do a live on the Sons of Batman, give you guys a chance to ask some questions, but here's like the best quality version of it, I suppose. Oh, uh, shit. Like I said, just pound this out real quick. Here's uh, Spice and Wolf, Seven Samurai, Blu-ray editions. There is the Omega edition. Of Death Note. Uh, I can never pronounce this name, but this is a, a collector's edition of this anime. If some of you guys know it, then I don't have to worry about saying it aloud. Uh, oh, here we go. Elreka 7, one of my favorites. Ergo Proxy was not one of my favorites growing up, but. It's nostalgic now. Here is the Cowboy Bebop Special Collector's Edition Blu-ray from Amazon. Comes with a little art book, you know, the Blu-ray. That's Amazon Collector's Edition. I should have never opened that. Yu Yu Hakusho. I need to get the other ones. Omagari SS. Love that anime. Have it digitally, so I did not open it. Spriggan, one of my all-time favorite movies. Uh, Kai and Mezzo Forte, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Two of my all-time favorite classic movies. Trigun, everybody loves Trigun. Uh, Rail Wars, I have that digitally, so I have not opened it. Princess Mononoke Blu-ray. Legend of Korra on Blu-ray. Uh, one of the Roni Kenshin new Kyoto arc. Blu-ray, that's a good one. Uh, Ninja Scroll, this is the very first Ninja Scroll I ever owned. Uh, my dad bought it for me for my birthday and I kept it ever since. Uh, I have it on Blu-ray as well. The Wind Rises Blu-ray, Blood Sea Blu-ray, I recommend anybody, The Last Dark, I, re I recommend this to anybody who has not seen Blood. Oh, here's another one, no, never mind. Never mind, I was getting back into my Full Moto Alchemist collection. Uh, Ghost in the Shell, Arise, uh, the other Ghost in the Shell, Arise, both are come two packs, um, uh, Ghost in the Shell, the new movie, uh, Ninja Scroll Blu-ray, The Boy and the Beast, oh, by far, one of my all-time favorite series ever, ever fucking just in my top five project Akko. i love all of them there's some more ghosts in the shell laughing man standalone complex the movie here is the individual 11 second gig movie blu-ray uh solid state society the original uh standalone complex movie here is standalone complex 
four disc collector's edition blu-ray that recently released second gig recently released here is ghost of shell innocence two innocents recent release on blu-ray here is the this is a, a collector's edition of what though uh still book with um a nice see-through cover over it uh what the fuck is this I can't pronounce the name, but it's a it's a special collector's edition of that. I also have the original Blu-ray collector's edition and the 25th anniversary. So that's that goes for uh, that's it for my my um, Ghost in the Shell. But I love this this show. Bought it for my kids. Ended up falling for it. Uh, Miraculous tells of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Here's Street Fighter. More Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, there is Street Fighter Alpha Generations, here's uh, the, I think volume 1 of Lady Miraculous, uh, Night Warriors, Darkstalkers Revenge, the animated movie, Sword of the Stranger, that, that has amazing fight sequences in it, Grave of the Fireflies, fucked me up man, fucked me up. Here is Garden in the Woods, or Garden of the Woods. That is a beautifully done anime. Lupin the Third, The Castle of Caliestro, Collector's Edition, direct, film directed by Hayao Miyazaki. I want all of Lupin the Third's animes. I love Lupin. Wolf Children, whew, that is a good fucking movie. Akira, classic, can't get any better than that. Uh, Senkirei, Undying Love. Now, I had this anime three times. I had to rebuy it simply because there's a scene in here where she gets cut open, and they blurred it out, and they not give you the uncensored version in a Blu-ray, so I had to rebuy it three times. Uh, Summer Wars. I've watched this movie so many fucking times, I don't even need to open it. I have it digitally anyway. Um, uh, Blue Exorcist, the movie. I... Bought that for $104. I bought it because my, my daughter loves it. I call her Osamuro as a little nickname. Uh, she always uh, mi mimics what they do in the, the show. And, you know, can't get enough of it. So, or the movie, I mean. Cowboy Bebop, the movie. Seen that a thousand billion fucking times. Don't need, even need to open it. The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. That blew me away when I first seen it. Fatal Fury. The motion picture. Love it. Love it. Love it. Mobile Suit Gundam, the original Mobile Suit Gundam. I want these on Blu-ray. Uh, I'm sad that I didn't get them yet. Here's uh, Gurren Login, the movies. All Japanese, no subtitles. There's two movies in here. Uh, fucking amazing anime. This anime saved me in 2010. I would not be into anime right now if it wasn't for this anime. Uh, here's Volume 2 of Miraculous. Here's another Night... Well, Night Warriors, Darkstalkers movie. Uh, Kino's Journey, one of my all-time favorite uh, anime series from back in the day. Moribito. Anybody who wants a strong, leading female character who don't need no man, check this out. But seriously, it is a really good show. Big O, one of my favorites. The Batman of anime, basically. Welcome to the NHK. I was depressed for two fucking years. Two fucking years I was depressed. This anime got me through it. Helped me through it. They didn't get me through it. Uh, <clears throat> Street Fighter, the last... The ties that bind. I have another Street Fighter movie that's in a Street Fighter collector's edition. I can't dig that out right now. It's in these big-ass boxes over here. I also got these ones on my watch must-watch list. Cat Planet Cuties. I've bought that fucking like six times already and I have yet to watch it. Uh, I can't pronounce that, but yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I was a big fan of, there's, there was this show, I can't remember the name of it, but it was made by the guy who did the Street Fighter anime. So I picked that up, that led me to watch Aikikyo Toyusen. And Akikyo Toyusen had me pick up Makin Key. And Makin Key, or this, this is another, I just love fighting anime. And this just ends up having fan service in it. 
I'm not a big fan of a lot of, you know, fan service type anime. So I, I am very limited to what I purchase when it comes to that. As the, as you can see, there's what one, two, and what I'm about to show you are my only fan service type anime. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention I have all the manga for I have all the manga for um Ghost in the Shell, I have all the manga for High School of the Dead, all the manga for Sek Sekirei Undying Love, all the manga for um, Blue Exorcist, Spice and Wolf, I have all the manga for Dragon R Academy, and what else is that? I can't remember. But anyways, so yeah, Dragon R Academy. Uh, I have two of these. I switched this out. This comes with a. This is the original cover, but I put the special edition cover on there because I have the special edition one, and I put the original cover on there because it didn't come with the original cover, and it comes with these little, really lewd cards that I don't really want to show off right now. Um, Wolf's Rain, one of my favorites. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna throw this in there. It's not anime, but the Chinese Connection. Bruce Lee. I forget the original name for this. Uh, fuck. I know I know it. But yeah, remastered in 4K, man. Cannot, cannot not pass that up. Prison, prison school. I have all the anime for this, or all the manga for that. I'm currently gonna read it, then I'll get on to it. Uh, watching this, the anime. There is Blue Submarine number six. Woo! I have to show you guys my um, my samurai film collection later on. But if you have not seen Ronin Kenshin, the live action trilogy, man, you guys are missing out. Not only is it one of the most badass action samurai films I've ever seen, but it is one of the best anime adaptations I have ever seen. Another samurai movie that uh, I'll have to get into la later, Shogun Assassin. Woo! I just fucking love that one. Um, what do we got over here? Oh, uh, uh. Senren Kangura, and uh, I can't pronounce that, whatever. There's the box for Senren Kagura. And, of course, Makin Key. And what I got in here is, I got Makin Key, and then, so, can I play H? I also have all the manga for that. And I should have had another one. Oh, yeah. Mocking Key 2. I heard this is nothing but fan service bullshit. And it kind of sucks because I'm not into that. Not hardcore like most people. Mr. Robot. Not anime, but fuck. Anybody, everybody should watch that. So, yeah, this is part one. Oh, actually, I forgot to throw that in there. Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. So, anyways, this is just part one of, uh, one of my videos I'll be doing at least one video of everything that I collect and I'll try to go over it as thoroughly as possible um, as you can see like I said all these boxes are full of something so I'll be doing a lot of videos for you guys and posting them on the YouTube page some videos like this one is going to be exclusively on the YouTube page uh, I'll try to do a couple more live because so you guys can answer some or so i can answer some questions at least but as of for right now this is everything i hope you guys really enjoyed it you know the more likes shares comments uh just wishes of well that i get for it i'll be doing a lot more uh I, i'm still apprehensive about doing this i don't know who's going to enjoy it who's not but so far yeah this is the first one i hope you guys really like it i'm going to put all this shit away Actually, no, I'm going to charge a phone. I'm, I forgot. I'm going to do an exclusive, or not exclusive. I'm going to do a live video trying to show off all this shit. I know a lot of you guys want to see the manga and everything, so I might dig that out so I can show that off as well for the live anyway. So, anyways, I'm going to charge my phone. I'm going to get out of this damn closet, get some fucking fresh air, and, yeah, again, hope you guys enjoy. Peace.